Hi, this is Blessed Prince here. So in this in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss on how to create a single uh, GUI window, okay, and how to handle that event, especially on closing a window, okay. So uh, for that, let me uh, open the NetBeans and uh, let me create a new project so that I can make you understand very clearly, okay. Now when I create a new project, okay, then so let me take in Java application. And uh, let me name it as GUI app. Okay, uh, I've created a project. Okay, right now here, please understand one thing. Now yeah, in this, I can create a new frame form. Okay, and I can get all the support from my NetBeans. Uh, like I can get a palette. I can just drag and drop. I can get a lot of support okay but instead I'm not going to do that instead I'm going to create this um, you know uh, from this uh, Java coding okay so that uh, basically you will understand how to create a window right rather than just drag and drop okay now before that let me basically make you uh, something clear uh, when you deal with GUI based programming okay whenever I uh, we deal with GUI based programming you need to understand uh, now few things now Two important um, things is about uh, the components and containers. Now, for that, let me let me take a simple example. Okay, uh, so maybe I'll let me take a calculator, which is which is very common example. Okay, uh, now see here, it is a GUI based uh, program or application. Okay, now when you see here, here you can find. Uh, uh, simple components now uh, you know visually you can identify these are buttons and uh, this is a text field where this data is displayed and it is laid over a window okay now here now this window let me tell it as a container and uh, even if it is a component also okay and these things are components like this button this text field and the window itself okay now so all user interface okay all user interface elements that you are seeing in the in, in the screen that are displayed uh, you know for on the screen the, which actually interact with the user are actually subclasses of component okay now the container is also a subclass of component here you understand that this window okay which this window is a container Okay, in which I have played in the, the application. In that application, they place the text view, the, the, the text field uh, button, etc. etc. Okay, so uh, the con container okay, can contain the components. You can place just like I know, assume that uh, you have a wall and you, you are uh, putting your photos or uh, photo frame or uh, anything you know over the wall okay here the wall is going to be the container and uh, the the photo frames are going to be your components okay which are put on the container okay now with this understanding okay so i'm going to create a window okay so that is going to be my container and i will add few components okay in this example okay or awt controls i can say okay let me close this and uh, let me directly go and create uh, uh, this application okay right now so when I wanted to create a window okay I can use uh, uh, two of the most commonly used one is panel and other is frame okay let me do with frame as of now okay so uh, now if you wanted to create a frame just derive from the frame class okay so I'm going to do that okay for that um, I, you know I can directly extend from frame class or I can create a frame object okay so now in this example I choose to create a frame object so let me say uh, you know, let me say I'm going to create a uh, no class called my window. Okay. And, uh, okay. I've created this class. Okay. Now let me create a constructor here. Okay. Let me create a constructor and, uh, now here. Okay. Let me declare, um, okay. Let me declare a frame. Okay. And uh, I will create a frame object okay frame equal to new frame of okay now here you can uh, see um, you know the constructors of the frame I will choose this um, you know default constructor okay now here you have other constructors which takes 
argument now you can see this third constructor which takes the title of the frame which which will be automatically set for the title of my window okay let me choose this default constructor okay now with this i've created a window a frame object is created okay now so now i can i can use the method you know set visible okay so now we can make it visible let me say frame dot set visible okay true yes <clears throat> i can choose to hide or show my window okay so in order to show my window okay make the window visible i have opted you know frame dot set visible okay the set visible method if i say choose to say false the, my window will be hidden okay by default my window will be hidden so in order to make it visible i have used this method so i can say uh, to show my window okay and uh, now like uh, okay so now i can i can choose to so what we have done we have created a frame and we have made it visible okay now what if you wanted to set a title okay i can do simply my frame object or i can i can use the method you know set title okay let me name it as you know, my window so now that's this is going to be the title of my window okay so yeah these methods are self-explanatory okay fine and i can set the dimensions of my uh, window i can say uh, frame dot set size okay set size i can either choose the you know get the dimension of my screen i can pass the dimension or i can directly say the width and height okay let me say the width uh, somewhere around 600 and the height let me say 300 okay so this is going to be the size of my window okay now now i've created a window okay and set the size set the title and you know, made it visible okay now so let me create um, uh, let me create an object of my my window class okay so let me say my window okay so some reference variable equal to new my window okay so now this constructor is getting uh, instant no the constructor is getting invoked and that object is instantiated so we are now i'm supposed to create that frame that is the window now okay right so now we can see we have created a window and it is made visible and my set the title as my window and uh, the width and height is 600 and 400 and 600 and 300 and it is done okay now let me try to close this window okay it is not getting closed okay so now whenever okay you uh, you create a uh, now now like uh, any any component okay now um, here now respond to some event okay now now closing this now it is a uh, event okay now this event must be handled and my this window object should respond to that event okay now so what event is generated when i click on here okay and window closing event is generated now window event is a class that support such kind of events okay which is defined in the window event class right it supports around 10 kinds of events okay right and you have a listener okay that is a window listener and it window listener is an interface which has the you know method prototypes or interface now it has list of methods okay to be handled all right okay the prototype of each uh, methods is available with your uh, window listener so in order to for this action to happen okay so my my window should listen to that event and when the when that event is happening it should uh, respond okay now how to do that okay so now for that now now she is not responding and close my applications and I've closed it okay now for that now let me say my window okay you can say add window listener okay and here you notice this window listener method takes an ob you know can you see it takes a window listener object as an argument now and i said window listener is an interface so i cannot create an object for an interface so now meaning now here i am going to pass an object meaning object of a class which implements this window listener okay so I will choose this method and here I'm going to say this meaning here I'm going to say the current object meaning the current object in the sense the object of my window 
so this object of my window must be a you know window listener object so i will say it implements okay implements window listener okay window listener fine now this is done so here what i'm doing actually i am registering my window okay registering Ring my window component to listen to any window event okay right any event like you know you may iconify or de-iconify you can close you can open right such kind of events okay when I when I perform with this window so it is registered now my window sorry okay it is it is registered to listen to any kind of event all right now when I say implementing a window listener now whenever you create an in uh, whenever you implement an interface we are supposed to implement all the methods that are available with that interface so I choose to implement all the methods now here I can in if you are using an ID you can uh, you know click over that icon and you can say implement all abstract methods okay now so these are the methods available with that interface it has implemented all the methods window open window closing window closed window iconified window deiconified when the window is activated window deactivated okay so i oh i have overridden all the methods available with the interface now now what i need to perform while the window is closing okay so because what's the problem we face this i'm not able to uh no i'm not able to close my window okay when I when I press on the close button okay I'm not able to do that so while closing okay while closing I wanted to perform the close so I can say here system dot exit okay of zero which is going to exit okay so now I'm using the exit method of the system class okay while while closing my window okay <clears throat> now let me try to run my application okay I run this application okay so I've got the same window let me try to close it fine perfectly I'm able to close my window all right so now here we have handled and window even okay so that is while closing my window okay now here I'm going to discuss one more important thing okay about adapter classes okay right now what about this adapter classes okay now here see uh, just I wanted to uh, handle my window closing even now just to do that now as my um, okay as my interface that is window listener has some seven methods I guess as it has this many methods now I am forced to implement all the methods okay now what if same way if I if I wanted to implement uh, more listeners okay if I wanted to implement more listeners now I need to implement all the methods that are available with that listeners so java have provided us a support with adapter classes okay now what is, what is this adapter classes i am going to discuss only on window adapter as of now okay so window adapter what it has done window adapter is a class that has the default implementation of all the methods of the window listener meaning the window adapter is a class that has implemented all the methods meaning default implementation right so which has no definition okay so it has implemented all the methods within the window listener so what I can do I can simply choose to inherit from my inherit from my window adapter okay I can say window adapter okay I'm inheriting from window adapter okay right so right so now in that case now I no need to do all these steps okay now I no need to do all this stuff instead okay instead I can simply say okay now I can simply say now whatever method I wanted to okay uh, fine so here I wanted to implement only window window closing okay I can implement only that okay right here it calls it super class window closing if you could notice okay fine so window closing 
I am able to do this because all the methods are by default implemented by my window adapter. Now window adapter is my super class. So I require only window closing. Okay. So my super class has implemented all the methods of my window listener. I just choose to okay say whatever I wanted to implement only this method. So I choose to implement only this method window closing so that I can exit my window. Okay, so let me run this. Okay, fine. So I've got the same output closing this window. Yeah, that's all, guys. It's going to be very simple to create a GUI based application, creating a window and handling it, handling that even. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. See you in my next video.